So I'm about to do something that many people consider is a once in a lifetime experience, but my friend Austin, he gets to do this every single day. So my name's Austin. I'm the owner and pilot of Rocky Mountain Balloon Adventures. My dad started this company in 1986. We've been in continual operation for 37 years now. I have two pilots that work for me full time myself and then also Sean. I can't forget about him. So Sean and I here are running the full time operations of Rocky Mountain Balloon Adventures. <laughs> Ballooning is very safe. One of the safest forms of transportation. You're more likely driving to the balloon for something to happen than actually getting hurt on the balloon. This is the kind of clouds right here. I want to see what the winds are doing. We have Eric, Courtney, and Blake over there. They're our ground crew, chase commanders. They're the round trip part of this thing. So we have to be nice to them, otherwise we become hitchhikers out there. So without my chase crew, it wouldn't be possible for Rocky Mountain Balloon Adventures to exist. They run all the ground ops when I'm in the air, handling the passengers, the driving. Oh, well, it was coming in a little bit too hot and you gotta uh, be able to pick and choose which landings. We avoid going into fences. That's a good idea. That's usually a good idea. <laughs> Happy trails. See y'all in Arizona. The biggest question I get by far is what if I'm scared of heights? And I can tell you there's no sensation of heights when you're up there, there's no point of reference. So it's not like looking over a cliffside. I've flown thousands of people who are scared of heights and at the end of the flight they tell me, oh, that was no big deal. That was not scary at all. I'd do it a hundred times. This is awesome. <laughs> the sensation you get when you're flying is very peaceful. You know, we move so slow with the wind, we go up and down slow. Balloons are really gentle giants. So the cold air is coming off the mountains, going down the valley, and the warmer air is replacing it, going back up the valley. So we can circulate in the valley like this. It's incredible, you know, you, you, you pull those burners and the thing reaches buoyancy and you uh, ascend into the heavens. We fly bright and early, that's when the winds are calm. You get the best views of the mountains, kind of that golden hour in the morning. My biggest question, besides the heights, is if you get cold up there. And the answer is you don't, it's very hot. You can see the burner standing right here makes 44 million BTUs of heat, and that keeps you nice and toasty up there. So when I'm ready to land, it's just seat of your pants fly and you come down low, you get 50 feet off the ground, you kind of have a general idea of the open space that's around. How do you know where they're going? I have a radio and a visual, to kind of see where they're looking. You're looking out for power lines, cars, trees, houses, you know, whatever obstacles could be in the way. And if the wind's taking you one direction and there's a big enough field that you can land in, then I'd bring it on into the field there. Most people in their life only get the opportunity to fly in a hot air balloon once. It's a big bucket list item for a lot of people, so I'm very honored to be able to check that off for a lot of people. thought it was amazing, breathtaking, once in a lifetime event. So at the end of every flight, once we brought our passengers back safely, we do a champagne toast and we also recite an Irish prayer as just a way to celebrate bringing everybody back safely to the ground. You have flown so high and so well that God has joined you in laughter and sent you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Cheers. We're here seven days a week here in Pagosa, so whenever somebody would like to fly, just give us a call and we'll get you up into the air and you can experience the beautiful views of the San Juans yourself. Cheers, Cheers man. <laughs>